Hello and welcome to part one in this look back at Resident Evil Zero. Um, I'm going to be playing it on easy because I just want to give you the best viewing experience. And this is the Wii version of the game. Uh, it's pretty much the GameCube version, but this, I'm playing it on the Wii. A Midwestern town in America, Raccoon City. A solitary island far off in the sea, Rockfort Island. An island that would become the second Raccoon City, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise umbrella was somehow involved, little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. Really? Hmm. Do you think so too? Yeah. Do about it. hold off for a while. I wonder how those are. began as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. What's going on? Ancient failure! Emergency landing! Check the current position and investigate the surrounding area. Captain, look! <gasps> Captain! Hmm? What happened? Order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen, ex-Lieutenant, 26 years old. Court-martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoner is to be transferred to the Regathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs. And that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone. Let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up.
Boo. Sorry. Um, they set that scene up for that and I just have to do it. Um, I do apologise. Um, uh, this was a game that came out in North America and Japan in 2002. Uh, around about November, if I remember correctly. Um, and it didn't come out till March 2003, I think, in Europe. And I think it was 2003 also for Australia. Um, I don't think I got it till about 2004. I can't, I can't remember the exact date. Um, but I know it's 2004 and I thoroughly enjoyed it. This is Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo team. Please identify yourself. Is someone there? The government has but as of two years ago, when a several concert left, the local government stepped in and took all. Oh, we're in trouble. Well, you went down quite easily. Oh, I think the last time I played it probably was on normal, but I wasn't entirely sure. And as I said, I haven't played it. I might, actually, I don't know if I did say it. What just happened? I, I thought they were dead. Um, I hadn't played it since 2004, um, so I really didn't want to risk it. I think it was September 2004 is when I originally got it. Um, it's one a Resident Evil game I didn't have, and I, I did quite enjoy the remake on the GameCube, so I think it was like really cheap at the time, so I bought it and really did thoroughly enjoy it, as I said. Um, it tells the story of what happened to the Bravo, Bravo Stars team, um, and I think it's a set set a day before what happens in the mansion in Resident Evil One. Um, and it also tells the story of a character that you you don't see after this game, uh, Billy Cohen, who was a military ex Marine, I think he was, um, who's accused of killing twenty three people, um, and, and he he escapes due to the outbreak. Um, he's in a helicopter and um, they're transporting him and because of the outbreak he manages he's the pilot and that escapes and he manages to escape. Do I say the pilot escapes? The pilot gets killed, sorry. Oh sorry, I didn't realise it. So I do apologise for talking over the memo. Oh, I don't think that's really a massively important memo, but I do apologise for talking over it. I got a bit carried away. Um, do we take the F-Aid spray? Ah, we'll just take it. I mean, I don't tend to use them, but I'll take it. Um, some Resident Evil 6 news, if anybody is interested. Uh, there was a tweet from Game. Uh, it's a shop in the UK. Um on their Twitter page they were saying that there's going to be no online achievements or trophies for Resident Evil 6 which I think is good and well I don't say it's a bad thing actually I think you know sometimes online achievements can ruin a game um, because there are people that will do anything to get them and you know I think you'll get that anyway whether or not they're there but I think in some way well I don't think there's a bad thing about it really I mean it's nice to have a challenging trophy but other than that that's about it And that memo is hard to make out, obviously, because it's a bit torn and damaged. Um, but I think if you you really can, I I was having no trouble making out what it was saying. And I think we meet Billy in a minute, actually. This game's very clever, actually, because it's 
there is a second character that is like it's like a bit like the co-op games that are out now. There were co-op Resident Evil like five and well, probably six. Um, but it's not actually co-op because I don't believe you can't play as a two-player. I don't believe. I don't ever remember having uh, it as a two-player. I don't think anywhere it says you can do that. But it's just very. It's like clever because it makes you use it to do puzzles and stuff. And there's a manual explaining it a bit sh shortly on. Here's Billy. Billy. Lieutenant Cohen. So, you seem to know me. Been fantasizing about me, have you? You were the prisoner that was being transferred for execution. You were with those soldiers outside. Oh, I see. You're with stars. Well, no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around, so I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Wait! You're under arrest! No thanks, Dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. I could shoot, you know. Oh, that made me jump, then. Edward! Are you alright? Happened. It's worse than we can't. You must be careful, Rebecca. The forest is full of zombies and monsters. Zombies and monsters. Uh, uh. And dogs. Did that dog just die after two shots? He has an ult. That one was a bit quick. Those dogs seem to die really quite easy on... Uh, he, well, it's obviously on easy. Uh, so they seem to die really, a lot easier. Um, when I was playing through it, I didn't like that. It just seemed too easy uh, for my liking. Um, that there is Edward. He's a Stars member, obviously. Um, I think he's officially the first Stars member to die. Um, I can't remember if there's someone else that dies before him. I think there's a, there was talk of a pilot. Um, I, I, I can't remember now. Uh, but I think he is like the, the first one you see die. Um, but I could, as I said, I could be wrong on that. I'm gonna run past them. It seems it just seems pointless to waste ammo on him. Um, but yeah, later on you can actually control Billy, and uh, you can switch between either one of them. This is Rebecca. Over. Enrico, hello. Can you read me? Please respond. And that's Enrico. You, you. Um, that's the leader of the Bra their Bravo team. Um, he is in Resident Evil One as well as this game. I think we meet up with Billy again in a minute because this is sort of goes into where you can switch characters. If he's in here, I think he is. Yeah, he'll be a coming coming through the door in a minute. I think. It's going to be dangerous from here on in. Why don't we cooperate? Cooperate with you? Listen, little girl, if you haven't noticed, there's some pretty freaked out things on this train. 
and I for one want to get out of here. I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone. You expect me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need your help. I can handle this on my own. And don't call me little girl. All right, Miss Do-It-Yourself. What should I call you? The name is Rebecca Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Well then, Rebecca, why don't you go and try while I wait here? Guys in the file. There's another cutscene now. Oh no, you have to run a little bit, yeah. Just, it is in here, but it's just a little bit up. There's a couple of bullets always handy. Excuse me, sir. Sir. Now there's actually a really nice easy way of getting past this boss you just run downstairs and save yourself a bit of ammo and some damage Max Payne's looking a lot younger than he did Cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? Well, I don't. Clue in, girl. Or maybe you like being worm bait. All right. But you just remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. Fine. Now take these with you. If you find anything, give me a call. All right. This file just explains the switching system.
And where it's about Rebecca have not having a strong defence, um, pretty much you, if you get attacked, she's really weak when she gets attacked because um, I was, was playing it on normal. Um, I think last when I last played it, and I remember her getting damaged really. She could be in danger pretty quick. Um, so I tend to use Billy quite a bit uh, because of that. If I remember correctly, I could be remembering that wrong, but I think Billy, obviously, I think that's the same with Jill in Resident Evil 1, though. Um, I could be wrong on that. I think Billy's gun's a lot more damaging as well. But I do, I do think it's a very clever idea for the series, really. Uh, it's something new that they've never done before. But it does consume a lot of ammo, and it's really hard trying to keep two people alive. But then I like that about it. And that's the end for this part. Thank you very much for watching.